Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back and today I want to show you all how you can rank your blog on Google with ChatGPT and this mind-blowing tool. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Everybody's talking about ChatGPT. It's absolutely mind-blowing and there was this one plugin that I think it was Jay had sent me and said, hey, you need to check this video out. This seems pretty freaking cool. So I've been going down the rabbit hole with ChatGPT and a bunch of other AI really to see what the heck this is all about. So tonight I was feeling kind of defeated with a bunch of other crap. I won't get into it. And I was like, you know what? Let me check that ChatGPT article. It's been about a week and see if it is ranking for the particular search that I was looking for. And y'all, I'm on page one, so I'm freaking thrilled. I'm gonna head over to my computer screen. I'm gonna show you what's up. The keyword that I was looking to rank for was Inkscape tutorial for beginners, again, for my blog. And I did not think that I was going to be able to make this happen. So scrolling down, you can see that I am right here on Google. And I was like, there's no freaking way. So I even checked in an incognito tab, typing in the same information. And sure as shit, here it is. <laughs> what? I have a little hesitancy with ChatGPT because it is known that the answers just are not always right. But there's this fantastic tool that has been created. It is an extension of ChatGPT where you can outrank articles. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like. So what is this tool you ask? I will tell you, it is called AIPRM. Now to get this tool, you will have to install the extension. Once you install this extension on Google, you will be able to utilize the functions of AIPRM. It is free to use. And once you install this on Chrome, when you log in, you will have this in your chatbot, okay? And you can see that there's a bunch of different topics in here from copywriting all the way down to software engineering. Uh, for me, I was using the Outrank article. Again, this was really, really good. So basically what you will do is you will click on this and it will ask for a competitor URL. So here is the article that ChatGPT spit out for me. And then I took all that information, dumped it into a Word document and then created this blog post, okay? So I did go through and do a bunch of optimization. I would say all in total from the time of messing around with ChatGPT to getting this thing live on the computer was probably about an hour or two, which is a lot faster than how I am normally pumping out products. I would like to make the point that this particular keyword has over 4 million results when you punch it into Google, so that's pretty freaking hefty. We're gonna do one in live time I will post it to my blog and then we'll check back in a week and see where we're at. Let's do something crazy. So selling digi digital products on Etsy has almost 8 million results. This is the top article right now. Interestingly enough, these articles have been published very recently. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and this is what we're going to use. So I'm going to put that URL into the chat bot and hit enter. And ChatGPT will do its thing. So this is done now. I can easily take this and put this right into a blog post if I'd like to. Um, I do get a little bit hung up on ChatGPT because it does pump out good product, but a lot of the times it will be detectable. And I'll talk about another tool in a future video that I'm currently using that is 100% undetectable. But for now, I wanted to focus on this free tool because I have some actual data that shows I am currently ranking and I have not gotten that data yet on that other particular tool. I like to add additional content in at the bottom end to incorporate it into the blog post as well. And this kind of shakes up the flow of it a little bit and also will kind of break the AI piece of it. But again, you're still gonna have to go through and add your own spin into things. So while this is spinning, one thing I will add is you can see that I related YouTube content to this particular post. So I included a few YouTube videos as well as a course where you could learn how to create SVGs. I think this is really what kind of pushed it forward as I'm utilizing backlinks to um, validate the content 
and these backlinks have been on Google for quite some time. I'm not sure that that had anything to do with it, but I think it definitely helped. I can take the advantages of dis and disadvantages and then also include that into my blog post. I also want to make sure that my meta information is accurate as well. Keep in mind, as all of these things spin, you want to be able to put your own creative twist into it. You want to go back to other articles that you may have written that involve this particular subject, because what you're trying to do is build a niche site that will continue to drive traffic back to your blog and into whatever products you're trying to promote. So I'm hoping for me this will be super beneficial, but I'm just not so sure yet because I've only been dinking around with this for a week. It's going to take a little bit of time for it. It's going to take a little bit of time for it to soak in. Now, this other tool that I'm utilizing, I will be releasing hopefully in the next week or two once I can test out what is going on because I am having Google force crawl the pages so that they're indexed and I want to see how quickly they will rank. So today is the 5th of February and I have indexed those particular pages. So hopefully they'll force index and I'll check on those tomorrow. And then in one week, I'll be able to check back and then be able to tell you about this amazing tool that I have stumbled on. It is not free, but if you're serious about your blog, you definitely want to check this out because it is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It really, really, really has blown my mind. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all this information from ChatGPT. I'm going to put it on my blog probably tomorrow because it is 1130 at night here. And I have to work tomorrow and see how quickly we can get this thing to rank in comparison to the other article that was on the first page of Google. So if you all have any questions about this process, don't hesitate to comment down below. Shoot me a message on Facebook or into whatever and I will get back to y'all as soon as I can. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out.